Hey YouTube, haven't done a video in quite a while, but I wanted to put this radio out uh, there for you. It's nothing sophisticated by any standard, but um, it's kind of fun radio to operate. This is a DX200 by Realistic Radio Shack, probably mid-80s. And again, nothing sophisticated about it. Uh, you can't just punch in a number here and there. But the cool thing about it is I'd like to say it's one of those radios that you really have to operate it to get it to work right. Um, there's two ways to calibrate this radio. One, you can um, calibrate the main tuning and only use the main tuning where you're, you're pretty close to where you want to be. And uh, the other way is, of course, using the band spread and getting the, uh, the band spread uh, calibrated to particular frequencies. So we're going to start out with doing the, the, the main tuning. So when you're going to only use the main tuning, you're going to set this band spread right at the set mark. That's going to be your default setting. And uh, once, once we're calibrated, you're going to leave the uh, band spread alone and just use the main tuning. Um, BFO pitch should be in the center position. And um, I like to turn the RF gain down completely because this marker, when you hear it, will, will just about pierce your eardrums if you have the volume up too much or the RF gain up too much. So um, we're going to turn on your calibrator. We're going to switch over to sideband. And again, I, I leave that RF gain down. And we just tune around, find that marker. Now you're hearing that, but that is not the marker. That's like a, kind of like a harmonic of it. You'll know it when you hear it. There it is. And of course, we're, we're right on. We're going to peek that out. Now, turn your calibrator off. And we're going to use this dial here, the meter, or the needle here, and set it right at 10. Now, at this point, if I turn on the RF gain control, switch over to AM, you should hear WWV. There it is. Right on the money. Now, that's going to be accurate, at least for the 31 meter band. Yeah, I mean, you're going to get close by the time you're down at 8 megahertz, but... Um, it's not going to be perfect, so you want to recalibrate. But right on the money. Now the other way you can do this is, let's say you want to use a band spread. I'll turn that RF gain down again. For the band spread, you're going to set the main tuning right about these reference dots. And you see it says 31 meters. You have the meters listed on both left and right side, and there's a reason for that. Um, if you'll notice, I can tune to 10 megahertz here on this band spread, but I also can tune to 10 megahertz here. But the 31 meter band, that reference dot, and the 31 meters here is on the top line, above the line, where some of these other ones are below the line. So that tells you you're going to use the 10 megahertz setting on top, not below. So there's a little bit of uh, uh, rhyme and reason to all that. So now, rather than setting the main or the band spread at the set mark, I'm going to set that at 10 megahertz exactly. And um, now I'm going to do the same thing I did before, but rather than just tuning the main tuning to get that peak and then fixing that, this this is not going to matter anymore. The the meter, the needle there. So again. I'm going to switch over to sideband. I have my RF gain down. Again, the BFO is, is center, which I haven't touched. We'll turn on our calibrator. Now, with the band spread set right at 10 megahertz, find that peak. And there you have it. Now, turning that off, going back to AM, I should hear WWV right at 10 megahertz. And there it is. And now, this band spread is going to be pretty accurate throughout most of the 31 meter band. Again, if you switch bands, you go too far down the band, too far up the band, you, you probably want to recalibrate to a different uh, setting or a different portion. But going right back up to 10 megahertz, we should hear WWV again.
right on the money. Look at that. Well, again, my, my videos are very amateurish. Uh, I don't edit them. I don't uh, um, splice or anything like that. So just bear with me on these. This is just to get these videos out with uh, things that I find interesting. Uh, radios are a passion of mine, and I just like to, to put these videos out for everybody to share. Thanks for watching.